Hey guys and welcome again to Freckle Finance. You will hear that I am very, very echoey right now. We are in our new apartment and I'm about to take you on a mostly empty apartment tour. Our furniture is not expected to come in for about another 10 days. So this is how we're gonna be living for that amount of time, but I figured, great idea. I'll show you guys what the apartment looks like empty and you can see what it looks like when it's no longer empty. So this is the view coming in the front door and you can see the living room, dining room area. And then you come this way and here is the kitchen. So I will say the one thing I really liked about this kitchen is what I'm calling the peekaboo window. Um, a lot of the layouts in this area will either be like super, super modern and the kitchen will be fully open or and those cost more money or they would be mostly closed off. So we were trying to get as much open as you can. And a pantry, which is also very good. So I feel like there's quite a bit of cupboard space. There is still a dishwasher. This fridge is bigger than the fridge we started with. Um, stove and so yeah, there's quite a bit of cupboard space. We'll have to see when I get all my stuff here though. And then the closet is quite big. So this kitchen living room area, or sorry, dining room living room area is very big. I was thinking that this area right here would be perfect for a Christmas tree. It is getting close to Christmas. And this is a real wood burning fireplace, although I'm not sure that we would ever really use it. So you come over here, that light is, this is the guest or second bathroom. And we have almost nothing in it now because we are using the ensuite bathroom and like I said, our stuff hasn't. So you flip over to this side and it's the second bedroom. It's pretty dark in here because we don't have any lights. It doesn't have an overhead light. And it came with this built-in bookshelf. This is gonna be an office slash guest bedroom. So we're gonna use books on it and some of it just for our little bar. And then a closet, hello. pretty wide. I've just got some office related paperwork in there right now. And then right here is a sort of a hall closet. We're going to use board games in there. And the two-piece washer and dryer which I'm excited about and there's some more of this stuff. And then you come into the master bedroom where there is an ensuite bathroom, which we do have stuff in it because this is what we we bought. Just and I believe those are quartz countertops. They're all the same countertops everywhere. And this is the bedroom portion. And here is right now our air mattress. So this is way bigger than our old place. The bedroom in our old place. And the closet is the same as the second bedroom. So that was the full apartment tour aside from the balcony which is quite large and it has a storage unit on it. So this apartment is about 400 square feet bigger than our apartment in Toronto and I'm really excited about it although it's not like as nice as our apartment in Toronto which was like really like high-end finishes and everything I'm really excited about this apartment I don't need that high-end and nicest of stuff the space is more preferential to me and because we went for more space instead of more nice we're able to get the second bedroom because basically it was the same price to get a nice one bedroom as it was to get this two bedroom although this location is different um, but this is also a location that we really really like so that's pretty much everything I will update you guys again when all of the furniture is in I might even do like the moving in process we'll see um, we're not quite sure where to put our TV stand because it can't really go in front of the fireplace easily so there's some kinks we have to work out when all of our furniture gets here 
and we'll update you then on how everything's going.